Hi guys, how are you? These are for the choir ladies and uh, there's about 47 of them. I met the most incredible women. They challenged the project and the process so vibrantly. <laughs> We've been very intrepid in trying out new forms. Persona poems are incredibly difficult to master. You've tackled them head on and I'm just so proud of you. So we had a diverse mix of women from all walks of life and backgrounds. It kind of culminated in us researching a number of women from 1923 and writing in their voices or writing a poem addressed to them. <laughs> we had been tasked with the idea of responding to women from 1923. We based some of our banners designs originally on their designs from back in 1923, but we adapted them, of course, into more modern and contemporary aesthetic. This is very kind of, I suppose, focused work on the musicality of the, the piece that I've written, um, which really honours the history of these women and, I suppose, honours where we are now 100 years later. So we're not just making this, these series of banners about women from 100 years ago, but we are honouring them and celebrating them, but we're also including a lot of contemporary women. Their power uh, as a group, as a sisterhood, is really remarkable. It's an amazing story. What we discovered was that uh, uh, many, many women have been uh, completely sidelined or trivialised or written out of history, out of mainstream history, and effectively silenced. Galway City Council, Galway Public Libraries and Galway City Museum are very proud to present Reflections, a programme commemorating the remarkable Irish women of 1923 as part of the Decade of Centenaries initiative. flapping on clotheslines from women who smoked with neighbours over back garden walls. Isas letter morme, canter na nila, riat na nrhid, riat na dunta. It wasn't my shame, it was in no hero's name that crown forces took liberties with me. You commanded City Hall. Your presence shocked the British military. Invasion, famine, poverty caused you to rise up with your faith as a shield. I decked my hair with detonators. I had as much right to die for Ireland as any man. I dream of a nation where Ireland can be won, free from all British control. What did you think of your husband's two nieces, Cathy and Lena, learning to shoot? Did you adjust their leather belts? Tilt their common man felt berries to a jaunty angle. In the workshops, we spoke a lot about how history has pitted women against each other and how, in response, women connect with each other. We mobilise to heal our trauma and to fight for justice. Tonight, we remember the tinted trappings of your fight. We honour the rich, courageous lives of Irish women 100 years ago, and we promise we have not forgotten you.